love this and I don't know what to wear it with. Karen, where are you? You know, so stupid. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I asked, you answered, so here is my response. The video all about colour. <laughs> how do I decide what colour I wear with what? How do I pick things to pair together? You know, that is what this video is. I hope you really, at the end of this, get some really good, some tips, some tricks. I'm going to first break down for you kind of my general colour categories that's in my head, basically, that helps me sort of um, decide on what I'm wearing colour-wise. And then I'm just going to show you some practical examples. But I'm hoping right at the very end of this video you will all have a little bit of a better knowledge of how to pair colours together. I am no expert on this. I don't see myself as such. I just see myself as someone who loves clothes and who loves fashion and loves just playing and mixing and matching with high and low and everything in between. That is who I am. That's my jam. How do I figure it out? This is your video. Now colour is one of those things you cannot escape in outfits whether and it's one of those things that applies to whether it's in the workplace, whether you are a student, whether you are dressing down, it's very casual, you're going shopping, maybe you're going for lunch, hanging out with your mates, whether you're going dressed out for a night out with the girls or a date night. Colour comes into it. Even if it's at an unconscious level to some degree, we all think about colour when we are getting dressed every single day. The colour also reflects your mood, how you feel about the way you're dressing. Are you happy? Are you just like, I don't want anyone to look at me. Let me go behind and wear dark stuff and big glasses or whatever. I think colour is underestimated. It is a very, very strong uh, component to your style. All right, so um, the first thing, the power of contrast. Now, when I talk about that, that could almost be a separate video in and of itself, but I'm going to use in the application of this video. Now, when I talk about contrast, I'm talking about when I like to contrast a light color item with a darker colored item. Case in point, this is a contrast theory in effect and complement each other. I did it recently wearing a gray, yeah, what did they wear with it? Yes, I had a grey coat on. I'll see if I can insert some footage here or here. Um, I had it on my Instagram stories. It's a light grey coat. Because it was light grey, I contrasted it with a darker colour. Was it a darker colour? Yes, it was a darker colour sweatshirt underneath so that they would pop against each other. Another example, um, I have that Bowden coat. Love that coat. Oh, so good. Insert pictures for it here or here or something. Now, the reason I chose to wear a white t-shirt under it is the contrast. I like the idea of, because the collar of that coat is dark, I wore a white, a light colored top underneath. So it would make the, that collar, that dark collar, 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 <laughs> collar really pop. If I had worn like a black polar neck, that would have been fine, but it would have just, at one glance, it would just show us being dark and dark for the collar. Anyway, throughout this video, make notes because I would like to be able to think that I can in some small way help you lot when you lot are looking at your wardrobe and you're thinking, what do I put with that? Think about those little things and I've got other little things I'm going to obviously say throughout this video and hopefully they will help you to just to equip you with things that you can start applying right now after you watch this video. If you need to rewatch it, do so until you really start to like, yeah, I get that. I understand. I understand. I understand. Um, these are just the things that I do and I also would like to think that they would help you when you're going shopping as well. So another one is the common color thread. Now that is something that I do all the time when I'm pairing or deciding what color to wear with what. I pick a color that is in one thing. I've mentioned this before, I know I've mentioned this before in my how to mix prints video. 
Um, so you just look at a color in one of your items and then you pick a color from here. So for example, you see how there are, there's black, green, orange, yellow, white, right? So, and these pants, you can't really see, but these corduroy pants, they are olive green. So I did the green. So I picked out the green here and up here, right? And I just wore these olive green corduroy pants with them because I just loved that look of just picking something out. And that's automatically my pairs them together. They like married to each other. I could have easily have worn a different color, couldn't I? I could have worn any color that's in here. I could have worn a white, see that? That would have worked as well. Why? Because there is white in this. Told you about these um, culottes, these jeans. God, it's so funny, these are the end of the stories as well. So is this. Um, but look, same principle. For any color, you pick it out and you wear it in the corresponding item. I'm actually wearing black ankle boots as we speak because the black is in this. So that's really how I decide. Like, it's just one example of how I put things together. Another one for you and marrying it with something else is sticking with these same under the stories pants look at this which you lot have seen before remember this shirt this open long shirt dress right okay you've seen me wear this before in i think it was that video that vintage challenge video that i did with beth jones anyway look at the colors in this same thing so based on what i have said to you you should by now know what you would pair this with color wise but this to me works because it's picking out a yellow color stripe that's in the shirt your clothes are helping you that's the point i'm trying to make they're already showing you what you can pair with something else because it's already existing in one of the items and you're using that same item to help you decide on the color that you would wear with it that simple now, jewel tones. I have a special place in my heart for them. I think that they are the probably the most beautiful colors in the world. Well, there is a massive statement right there. I am talking, as you lot already know, burgundies. I'm talking about sapphire blues, uh, ruby reds. I'm talking about emerald greens, that beautiful bottle green. Oh. Oh, anyway, I love jewel tones. I think they are fantastic because they're so rich and so saturated. This is a season where it's perfect to marry jewel tones together. So you can put, which I think would look amazing, um, a bottle green with a sapphire blue. I think that is a stunning combination together. Um, you could even wear a sapphire blue with a burgundy. Put those two together. I think that looks great together. Uh, in, I think the point I'm trying to make is that jewel tones, I think, are interchangeable. They usually always work because they are all rich. And I think that in itself looks so beautiful. Now, there are just certain colors which over the years I have just noticed seem to pair well together. Um, and they are in no particular order. Um, red and orange I think that they look really pretty together um, gray and let me see yeah dove gray and uh, like a d dusty powder blue looks good together um, a steel gray looks good with a navy blue I'm actually going to show you something right now which is a chocolate brown and powder blue those are beautiful together um, in fact I'm going to show it to you right now because I'm looking at it it is this coat that I have from Reese this is a hundred percent wool this coat I love these oversized collars with a suede chocolate brown midi skirt now I think that together those just look so good hold on can you see that can you see See what I mean? Why is it focusing on my face? Don't focus on my face, focus on this. Just layer this over it. Two colors really pair well together. And it could have been either or, right? You could have had like blue here and then had like the chocolate brown coat or suede coat. That would easily have worked. Um, I'll also list on the screen some other color combinations that I have just noticed work really, really well together. They just, they just, I don't know what the word is, but they just pair 
really, really well in an exciting way. When you go into a really good one, a good store that's laid out well, pay attention to how they color coordinate their merchandising. You will see when you walk in, let's take Zara as an example. I like the way that they pair color schemes together. Next time you're in Zara, pay attention to just the color schemes. They're doing that for a reason. Yes, they want you to buy combinations together because they're showing you, they're actually teaching you what goes with what and you're seeing for yourself why they're putting the black with the gray or why they're putting um, you know warm colors together with like a white slouchy boot and they'll have it at the bottom just to show you like visually oh yeah that would work with that i get it i love seeing stuff like that and it's really it's inspiring for you so i want this video hopefully to be um, an inspiring jump point for you as well Another thing that I like to do, gosh, I really hope this is helping. God, this is so all over the place. Um, I'm hoping that this does help you a little bit as well. Um, another thing that I love to do is monochroming colors, layering in the same family. Yes. Um, for example, here is just one. You know when you've got like um, an outfit, it's all creams and beiges, biscuits and oatmeal and white and those colors that I just listed are all in the same color spectrum or family. You could put those all on together. Another one which I did quite recently and I also put on my Instagram stories like, who wore it better, Velma or me? Um, it is this Topshop piece that I do, I'm, I'm working with Topshop and I wore recently this utility type of skirt. It's a short skirt with this massive uh, cargo like pockets and the tie sash at the waist. This is really cute. Um, so it's like a mini skirt in this gorgeous autumnal rust color, back pockets as well. So I teamed it with this gorgeous knit. This is, oh, I didn't know about this when I did the sweater video. You know the video I did on like, you know, comparing sweaters and shops? I didn't know about this. Anyway, I found this afterwards. So I teamed this with, where's the bloody skirt? I'll show you inserts. This is not working out well at all, but I teamed this jumper with this and the reason I did that is because it's that same color family do you understand this is like that orange burnt orange color this is like a darker rust color contrast again is coming to effect here as well lighter darker and then boot wise I went with these Topshop boots I love these these are so so comfortable considering that they have a heel but same thing that same kind of color family and also you could do the same with anything else that you've got and it's just the whole like putting color on top of each other let me see if i can find one for you right now pan golden oatmeal color combination all in one family it is this mango corduroy blazer that i recently picked up i this peak lapel how could i not how wide it is it is just so oh it's so good anyway just pairing it with i've got this back to front there is a skirt it's from bowden and I haven't even worn it yet, hence the tag is still on it, but it's a wrap skirt, satin skirt. How beautiful is this? It's actually coming out brighter than it is. It's more like a, usually when I go for the back, you can see the play on the textures is why I like it so much too. Thick corduroy with that soft, slinky um, satin material. I would add either a chocolate brown in fact, I don't have a chocolate brown, do I? No. I think to make this pop, something dark like right here this is corduroy jeans but you see i see it it's making it's making the jacket pop and then you've got the skirt that's really beautiful warm colors together i'm showing you this slightly lighter colored knit which still works see All right, this was mentioned in my sweater video if you haven't seen that i'm going to link that below because a lot of you found it really helpful for looking for jumpers anyway so I would put that with that because this is the same similar color family and you've got this peeking out underneath and boot wise because the colors are quite sort of light together I would actually go with the white boots it just has that look of being like one similar tone even though they're all different the reason why I picked a white boot instead of like a black boot is because I like often to wear a lighter colored boot or shoe when I'm doing like lighter sort of colors like tone on tone like this very light I usually go with a lighter boot whether it's a white boot or that brown top shop boot that I showed you the chocolate brown corduroy pants these pants which are so flipping badass I put this easily with this and it has such a retro look look at all those different browns together you've got the darkest one here then you've got the medium brown with the polo neck 
and then you've got like the lighter brown with the or tan with the corduroy that looks so good together oh you understand you understand what I'm saying now going back to when I talked to you about colors that work well together blue and browns work well together and I think I've said this to you before in other videos sticking with the same brown corduroys here's a good example things are falling on the floor but we'll continue this denim retro navy um, men's jacket that I found this is so flipping good I mean this is this is what you get when you get when you get vintage this is the kind of shite you find it's just so it's so good look at that that with that that is just perfect in fact I have worn this I'll put this on the screen for you I've actually worn this combination together and I wore it with a green because I also like green and blues together I put a green t-shirt underneath but I could have put a black with it I could have put a white but the point is blue and browns do work together my joy is in the mix and so that's my happy place just mix up the weights of the fabrics so you've got different textures going on um, if you love to wear black on black for example because I still think that black on black or even white on white looks really good but black on black is probably the most wearable for all of us but I think it looks at its best when you definitely contrast the textures that's when you really see like the joy in wearing that one color and that person is deliberately um, showing it off by wearing different textures then it really pops and stands out even though it's all one color other color combinations sometimes I like to do not as often but every now and again now every now and again I do is monochromatic as in black and white uh, I find I just love that look together and I do it deliberately and you notice it when I wear it on Instagram it's something that I am purposefully doing and I will either mix and match the the textures or maybe there's a pattern in the clothing and that's why I'm doing it as well one of the things I want to tell you also um, in terms of complementing things is I've always seen white and I know that I've said this to you before in other videos as a neutral color so in an accessory so for example um, and also in a white t-shirt that's why I talk about a basic white tee because I don't know I think it's just the white white to me is like a non color it's like black in a way almost less so because black is like a saturated color and white is like it's almost like blank it's like nothing anyway so that's how I see white um, it's to me white is a neutral so when I recommend uh, like say a white boot whether it's this one from last year from mango or the one that I got recently from Everlane the day boot love that it's so flipping comfortable as I've already told you um, they go with everything like I could look I could have worn this why tell me well you lot should know why I could have worn this my shrimps bag I wear that so much because at least not at the moment because I'm rotating and wearing other things but that white shrimps bag to me is a neutral at least to me and in my world Karen Britchick world it is a neutral so that's my thoughts about it buy it ready-made <laughs> case in point, <laughs> case in point. <laughs> this uh, corduroy suit once you have the suit in your life you can now turn around and split this and wear it with other things hopefully based on what I have said to you in this video this is like a dusty rose pink colors that to me go with a dusty rose pink I'm just using this as an example um, chocolate browns navies will look really pretty with this um, you could wear like um, a red I think that would look really cool chocolate brown skirt with it satin skirt with it you know whatever you understand the color that I'm talking about to pair with this and the same applies with the trouser as well if I had like a black um, polo neck because I, lo I love polo necks as you can tell by this video I'd probably bung on these as well so you can imagine that with the black polo neck here and you just got all this pink and then you've got like you know the ankle boot I think that looks really cool and then the crossbody like a small like black bag I'm marrying the two accessories together as my darker um, anchor pieces I call them when I refer to an anchor piece I mean it's something that's darker than the rest of this outfit this is such a light colored suit another light colored suit I would anchor it with a darker just to contrast 
right that contrast thing sit with a darker bag or maybe um, a darker shoe just to anchor the lightness of this or not and but or I would go the other way I could wear a white um, boot with this a white ankle boot like the uh, Everlane the day boot I love that kind of mod 60s soft rounded toe um, boot or a pair of white sneakers with this and that looks really fresh something like this and it just you know keeps everything very in the light color family but I picked white because white like I said for a shoe or is a neutral I keep talking about the Everlane boot let me just show you because I keep talking about it right so these boots right these white boots they actually are slightly darker in person they're coming across on camera but they actually also come in a darker like an like yeah literally like an oatmeal kind of color i'll put it on the screen so you can see what i'm talking about but i think that these kind of boots lend themselves really well to work with a lot of your pieces navies and black i think they are chic kingdom they look so good when they're paired just right together if you don't want to if you're trying to shy away from wearing too much black and you're trying to take baby steps go into the next so safe alternative to black which is navy right so it's softer on your skin tone as well than wearing black which can sometimes be a bit draining on certain um, skin tones also take into account my skin coloring for me I've noticed that uh, warm colors like yellows um, oranges um, whites uh, tans you know it's colors that are more on the warmer end of the spectrum uh, look really nice on my skin tone I think they complement my skin tone well I find that contrasting that dark hair with lighter colors looks amazing and similarly, if you've got white, blonde, very light colored hair, darks like navies and blacks against your hair color, I think that just, and also skin tone, I think those contrasts of the light and the dark, contrasts of the light and the dark, they just do pow on you and look so, so good. I mean, you know, this is just generally speaking, because if you're darker skinned, you've got dark hair, you want to wear dark clothes and wear it. You know, I, this is not like the Ten Commandments of fashion colors. I think my last closing thought is, I love color. I, you know, it's one of those things that I have got more and more into. It's because the temperature is dropping. I think it's fun just to go the exact opposite and wear bright colors and just, uh, not necessarily even bright colors, but just wear, experiment more with color. I think that's probably the best thing I can say. And I'm hoping that this video, regardless of the season, is going to equip you with that ability. Like I said before, watch this video again, maybe watch it a couple of times, write down what I've said because I had to write down what I said to you. So Lord knows how you are gonna remember all of this. But put it in your iPhone notes or something um, and when you're in shops and you're like, I don't know what to wear with this. You're walking around with this jump and you're going, I love this and I don't know what to wear it with, caramel, oh yeah. you know, so stupid. And hopefully now you will be better equipped. Oh, another thing, brown, this would look good with that too. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. All right, I'm done. I need to go and see what is at the door. I hope this video helped you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you are new, hi, I am Karen, AKA Karen Britchick. Um, you can follow me between Friday and Friday on Instagram, which is the same name. And as I always say, have a good weekend and I will see you guys next week, Friday. Bye. Oh, I wanna wear this. I feel like wearing this, right? Who is that? Sorry. <laughs> I'll deal with that later. Okay, so I have another example for you. And I saw, this is like an oatmeal bra. The phone is ringing. The phone has interrupted my YouTube videos. And there you go. OG followers, we, you and I, we already know about the phone. But I think it's um, a forever that you can always do. Oh, there goes the doorbell. Let's see what's just arrived, shall we? Since everything is happening in this video. All right, so I just went to the door and it is, what is this? But I just can't be bothered. I actually want to see, what is this? I thought it was my
my hair conditioners. You ordered frigid air. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Look, look, look. Like you don't care. I'll leave it in here. You can come and pick it up if you dare. If you want to be on the next YouTube video. Anyway. So where was I? Where was I, Michael? No idea. Okay. Where was I? Anyway, I think I was talking about black and white. Bright suit you saw me had on. And I was like, oh, I want it. <laughs> anyway. This, God, that was loud. My ear. <laughs> this is such a stupid way of doing this. <laughs> oh, there's a package at the door. What is that? And it's a box too. What did I order? <gasps> you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record.